right here is the former undisputed UFC welterweight champion and still one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. What do you think his approach is going to be here tonight? Because we love the jab, the striking has evolved, but we all know what his bread and butter is. Well, his bread and butter is his wrestling. I think the only thing I can point to is that he lost the first fight of his career. Then he went on that tremendous run to become the welterweight champion and widely regarded the best pound pound fighter in the world. That was his bounce back. Tonight he has to do that again. He's got to go back to that mindset that allowed for him as a young fighter to tie George St. Pierre's record for most wins in the welterweight division. That starts tonight. And ultimately he's hoping that leads to another raid to top the welterweight division. And there have been rumblings about some injuries, maybe a knee, his hand. He says he's healthy. We'll see how it goes for Kamar Usman getting back on the proven ground here tonight. Sinatra, this man has done it his way. The former UFC welterweight and middleweight champion, George Rush St. Pierre. A lot of people believe pound for pound, DC. GSP is the best they've ever seen. Yes, because he was able to mix everything together so well. When he was fighting a wrestler, he was able to keep the fight standing. When he was fighting a striking specialist, he was able to take him to the ground. His jiu-jitsu and just his full-on MMA game was something that we had never seen in the UFC before won the UFC Championship at middleweight after being away for four years, just showed how special George St. Pierre truly is. In terms of MMA application of wrestling, no one has done it better than George Rush St. Pierre. GSP George St. Pierre, always ready to engage. We'll see how he handles this challenge. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Who's Buff? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending you. Welterweight champion of the world, George Rush St. Pierre. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. This is arguably the biggest welterweight fight in UFC history. It is upon us. I am anxious. I would imagine the athletes have a better resting heart rate than I do. Kamal Usman, George St. Pierre. Let's see how it plays out. I had to take the cans off my ear because I want to hear the crowd when these two men step into the octagon. We have the two greatest welterweights of all time finally locked in the octagon together. Usman versus St. Pierre. Who's going to be victorious? Come on, John Annick. Straight punch is good. All right, early round one action. Here is the 
fighter engages in the clinch, and again, we don't know the striking discrepancy here, but you gotta think the wrestler is gonna pursue these situations in this match. I mean, he spent his lifetime here. He spent his lifetime in clinch, so he gets to the clinch, he gets chest to chest, and he's comfortable. No matter how good his opponent is in terms of overall skills, he is so well versed here that he feels like he's got to test that ass. Now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. And they separate. Lands that beautiful jab. He is hurt now. Oh, nice body shot. Nice. Nicely done. Double leg shot. Oh, I am the two slam for him there. Wow. Good work from the top here by George St. Pierre. Another strike gets through from the top position. St. Pierre's in half court. Big ground and pound. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. He's having his way with him here. Let's go! Get him off you! Get him off! Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Lands with the ground and pound. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground ball. Round two straight ahead. So there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. Ready, fight? Ready. Go All right, here we go with round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. That was nice. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. St. Pierre's going for a choke here. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, somehow he got out. That was beautiful. Look at how he brought his hips up in the air. Used this moment to swing himself back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission to that. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. There it is. Now he's going to bump. Making all these shots count. Big elbow there, Lance. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Debilitating leg kicks have landed tonight. Oh, oh he's in trouble. Big right hand. And they separate after 
exiting the clinch. Oh, that'll snap your head back. Beautiful combination. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Landed that left hook. He just seems much more confident and comfortable on the feet. Oh, massive knee up top. Big shot, too. Oh, huge left. Oh, another crushing leg kick. Man, that he is throwing his hip into every one of these kicks. And it is taking an effect on his opponent. And now left. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades so of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did, was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Right. Ten minutes in the books. Hey, stop. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. in the fight. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Jockey in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. He's going for the rear naked choke now. Uh, oh, that was deep, but he got out. That was beautiful submission defense by this guy. And now he reverses position. Wow. Oh, going for the arm bar now. That might be tight. What a tight arm bar. just stayed calm, was able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Kamaru Rus. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Usman's in half guard. Now trying to isolate an arm. Yeah, he's trying to go to a Kimura lock right here. He'll, he'll either try to get the submission or use the sweep. Oh, I thought that arm was done. He gets out of the game. It was over, John. It was so close to being finished. But he stayed calm, slipped his arm out, and now he's safe. Big punch on the clinch. Usman going for the takedown here, but he misses. Here in the latter stages of this fight, he's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, and he lands another leg kick. Man, his opponent's on one leg now. Up, up, up. Uh, if I, hey, it might rock. I'm on the apron with the white towel. Throw it in, boy. The fight's over. Oh, that's a big right hand that got through. Man, his head's chin been tested early. Oh, big left hook there. Staying busy here on the clinch. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, that rear naked choke is tight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Oh, getting weak here now. The hard ground and pound has opened up a cut. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Three rounds, we're now headed to the championship rounds. 
All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is the fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest man. How many leg kicks can one man take? I mean, I think this is it. If he takes many more of these kicks, his night is going to be over. Hand. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land this beautiful oh, oh, hip toss to get him down. Judo toss for him there. Right back. He's setting up a submission attempt. Oh, it could be the beginning of the end. That looks tight. There's the tip. Submission and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know, this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. The official decision is it. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 33 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by submission due to a Kimura and...